Good evening guys and welcome back to my channel. So tonight I have a Sephora haul to share with you. So a few items that I recently picked up. There are a couple of makeup items and there's also a few perfume items. So if you're interested in seeing the little goodies that I found at Sephora, then please stay tuned. And if this is your first time on my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Alithia and on this channel we do talk mostly about perfume. That is kind of my main passion or my main jam that I love talking about. We do a lot of hauls, unboxings, reviews, top tens, things like that. And also a lot of perfume collections and declutter type of videos. If you like that, please subscribe. Also feel free to head on over and follow me on Instagram. And with that out of the way, let's get started in tonight's little Sephora haul. All right, so the very first thing that I'll share with you guys is actually something I got a couple of weeks ago. And this one is the True Skin Serum Foundation from Elia. I hope I'm saying that properly. And this is in the shade Mindoro, I believe. They market this as being like a medium coverage foundation, but honestly, for me, it's definitely more of that sort of serum, like light coverage, but it does have some buildability to it, so you can build it up if you need to. And I've been quite enjoying this. I actually think that a lot of the stuff from the brand Elia is really good. I don't think I've tried anything from them that I have not liked. I also am a huge fan of their cheek and lip tint. So it does come in a nice pump like this. And what I really like about this foundation is it is quite moisturizing and hydrating and it just goes on truly like a serum. It's almost like a tinted moisturizer on my skin, but it does have pretty good coverage. And yeah, this is really, really nice. I wouldn't say it's like my 100% dead ringer, like I'm never going to anything else. It's not like that for me, but I do really like it. So yeah, this is really nice if anybody's wondering. Great for people who have a dry skin. And that is the first item that I picked up. The second item is an eyeshadow palette, and this is from Too Faced, and this is called the Natural Eyes Palette. It's a little bit big and a little bit heavy. I don't know if this would be great for travel. As you can see, it is quite a large palette, but there are a lot of beautiful colors in here. So there is just this really cute little heart clasp there and this is what the colors look like so they're really really pretty the top one on the left is this really pretty white whitish kind of ivory color called heaven then there's like this shimmery one called silk teddy that i really really like and then there's a couple of other colors that i really like for like the crease of my eye or doing like a smoky eye look um, like the cashmere bunny and also the strip poker they're just all really, really pretty shades, you guys, and these are truly neutral. They're not too warm, they're not too cool, they are perfect if you're looking for sort of that perfect neutral eyeshadow that you can make some really nice looks with. So I am quite enjoying the Too Faced. I have used this a couple of times and I really, really like it. So my Urban Decay Naked 2 palette is out. That one I am not gonna be using anymore, like I told you guys, but I'm still kind of on the hunt for like my favorite eyeshadows. I had had the Tartlet palette, which I shared with you guys in a former video, but that one had a lot of colors in it that I felt like probably weren't going to be used. I just felt like a lot of them didn't suit me. So I did return that one and I picked up this one and yeah, I have been really, really enjoying it. So the next item is a primer and this is from the brand Hourglass. And you guys, again, this is a brand that I don't think they make a bad product. I recently discovered their finishing powder and it's amazing as I shared with you guys in my last video and I've been on the hunt for a good primer. Let me know down below by the way you guys do you think primers are necessary? I'm sure that if you guys work at Sephora or if you are makeup gurus you probably will say absolutely yes primers are important. The reason I ask is because I've never been a primer person. I already use moisturizer, I use sunscreen and then I just go in with my foundation and my concealer and I guess because I don't do like a full heavy makeup look, especially every single day, um, I guess maybe that's why I don't really, have never really seen the importance of a, of a primer. I haven't had a chance to try this on my face yet, but just on the back of my hand, you guys, I tried this in the store a couple of times before I bit the bullet because it was a little bit expensive. This is the Veil Mineral Primer, oil free. And I have heard such good things about this, you guys. And like I said, trying this on, on the back of my hand in the store, it just made the back of my hand feel like butter and it blurred out all the pores I had in my hand and it just made the back of my hand look absolutely flawless. And I thought, if it does that for my face, then that's great. Although I still don't know, like I can't promise that I'm going to be a primer lifer girl or like, you know what I mean? I just don't know if it's going to be a holy grail thing for me, but I'm really excited to try this and I can let you guys know how it goes once I do try it. But yeah, so this is the Veil Mineral Primer. Let me know you guys, like I said, do you think primers are 
an essential part of your makeup routine? Do you think they're sort of just overhyped and not really necessary? So now we'll talk about a fragrance product and this is the Nest Madagascar Vanilla Perfume Oil. So you guys, these perfume oils are something I've never really given much thought to because I don't, first of all, I don't like um, roller balls and this obviously comes in a roller ball, but they do have a larger version that comes with like a dropper and I just am not much of a perfume oil person. I've not really used them before. Um, I don't really like a greasy feeling. I don't really like the idea of getting oils on my clothing or on my handbags or something like that. So perfume oils to me just were never really something I considered getting. However, I smelled this in the Sephora and I did put it on my skin and you guys, this smells so, so good. And the longevity and the projection of this is insane. I kind of just fell in love with it in the store. I'm really glad that I tried it on because I don't think I would have purchased it had I just smelt it from the bottle. And so this essentially smells, I don't know if there's any other notes in here besides just Madagascar vanilla. I'm sure there probably is something else. But to me, what this smells like is a very sweet, warm vanilla. It's not sickly sweet though. It's not like the Comptoir Sud Pacifique um, Vanille Coco or Vanille Extreme. It's not like that kind of sweet where it's almost too sweet. This is very like warm, cozy, but delicious. It's like a warm, cozy, delicious, true vanilla and I really, really like it. And this, you guys, I actually layered with a couple of other perfumes the other night when I went out for a date. What really made the perfumes shine was this oil. Like this is what I could smell throughout the whole night. Actually, when I went to bed, as I was like rolling around in bed and I woke up in the middle of the night to get a drink, when I woke up, I could still smell this on myself. The sheets smelled like this in the morning. My pajamas smelled like this. Everything smelled like this and it was so beautiful. This is something I would definitely say would be good to grab if you want something to layer. You could even layer this with any other lighter perfume that was maybe a floral perfume or something like that and you just wanted to give it a little bit of oomph or you wanted to add a little bit of a kind of a warm vanilla touch. So this is what the top looks like. Obviously it is a roller ball and yeah, it just, it just smells really sweet and delicious and vanilla. It's just really, really good. I absolutely love it. Yeah. So I'm really glad that I only got the little 10 mil though, because I do think that it'll take me a really long time to go through this. As you guys know, I have lots of perfumes. So, um, but this is something I definitely plan to layer with a lot of other perfumes. You could just wear this by itself. It definitely smells nice by itself, but if you want to create a little bit of a signature scent, you could layer this under another fragrance and it would just give it this extra body, like this extra, little touch. That is the Nest Madagascar Vanilla Perfume Oil. The next item is another makeup product and this is from Hourglass again and this is one of their ambient lighting blushes. So you guys, their ambient lighting powders and blushes are incredible. They are such a beautiful, creamy, smooth, silky, buttery formulation. They give you a little bit of a glow, but they're not like shimmery or um, they don't have like gold flecks in them. They're really, really beautiful. So this is what the blush compact looks like. It's very, very reflective. And the one that I got is in the shade Sublime Flush. And this is what it looks like in the palette. This is such a gorgeous kind of subdued corally pink color. It, it does have just this gorgeous kind of corally pink shimmer to it, but without having that like strong, like glittery effect. So that's what it looks like on the finger. All right, so hopefully you can see that beautiful pinky corally color. It's absolutely stunning, you guys. Really, really nice for somebody who has warm undertone like myself. I hope it's coming up true on camera how it looks on my skin. It is just absolutely beautiful. So for me personally, I don't go super, super heavy with my blush, and I'm always kind of scared of like very heavily pigmented products because I don't want to get them on my face and have them be way too bright and then I have to redo my makeup completely or something like that or I have to go over it with like foundation and try to blur it out a little. I don't like that. I like something that I can put it on and I can either build it up or I can just start really slow or just give myself a very subtle glow and because you do get so much in the package, I mean this is going to take me forever to go through you guys. So yeah, I'm really excited about this. Again, looking at it, it looks like something I would not even try because it looks like it's going to be so bright and so strong, but actually it is just really, really beautiful and very subtle and definitely can be built up 
or just applied very lightly for like a really nice subtle kiss of color. So I really, really like that. And my last two items in today's haul are two perfumes and these are two little minis of Jo Malone fragrances. So I did get the kind of combination pack where it came with both of these in one. And I think they call them a travel duo or something like that. And this one is the Wood Sage and Sea Salt. And it also came with the Peony and Blush Suede. So Jo Malone is a fragrance house that I have not really spent much time with. I actually tried the entire range when I was on vacation, but I was kind of pressed for time. Um, I didn't really have a lot of time to try any of them on my skin. And a lot of the scents to me kind of were a little bit underwhelming. I think at the time I was just looking for more bold, strong fragrances. I really do think that my fragrance tastes are changing a little bit because lately I have really been gravitating more toward these fresher, more subtle, more realistic, um, very natural smelling fragrances. I've really been looking for, I don't know if it's just the change of season or if it's me. I actually do think it's just me because I have tried these before in like the right season and I still didn't care for them. And all of a sudden now the Jo Malone fragrances are smelling totally different to me. I'm really, really liking them. These two I got, I did smell them in store. These were not blind. And I actually like the Peony and Blush Suede enough that I do have a full bottle coming. So I'm really, really excited about that. So let me tell you what the notes are and I'll tell you what I think they smell like. I'm sure that all of you guys have smelled these before, but it's really nice to hear what somebody else thinks about them. So the first one is the Wood Sage and Sea salt and how cute are these little bottles you guys I decided that even though I kind of wanted a full bottle of the peony and blush suede I thought that this was a good route to go because obviously these are the type of fragrances you're going to need to reapply throughout the day it's no secret that the Jo Malone fragrances are quite soft they are an eau de cologne concentration so they don't have the greatest lasting power if you guys are Jo Malone fans let me know down below what you think the longest lasting Jo Malone fragrances are and also let me know what your favorite ones are so this is the wood sage and sea salt and this has notes of sea salt, sage, grapefruit, ambret, and seaweed. So this has a very natural kind of aromatic marine-like quality to it. It smells like you're beside the ocean and you're getting this whiff of this like salty ocean air but not in like a dirty way and you definitely do pick up on that sage that's in there but it's very clean. It's not like um, an off-putting kind of a sage scent. It has a little bit of a freshness to it and it just smells very earthy and calming and just very pleasant. It's a very pleasant scent. I will say you guys, this is not my favorite scent from Jo Malone. There's other scents that I've tried that I did like a lot more. I can't remember from the huge array that they had. I can't remember like what my favorite ones were. Um, but I do have a few more coming, so I'm really excited to share them with you. And yeah, this one, I think it's good to have a small bottle. I may change my mind at some point and think that I want a large bottle, but at this point, I wouldn't say that the Wood Sage and Sea Salt is like up, up there for me, but this one's quite nice. Also, neither of them have... Neither of them have great lasting power, at least from what I've tried. I've had them both on my skin twice now, and I would say that after about three, maybe four hours tops, I'm really having to struggle to pick them up on my skin. I don't know about clothing. I haven't given them that thorough of like a wear test yet. When I get my other Jo Malone fragrances that are coming, I will let you know like which ones are the longest lasting, which ones are my favorite, all of that stuff. So the next one is the Peony and Blush Suede. And this one, I, I have to tell you guys, I had only ever smelled this on paper. In fact, I'd only ever smelled any of the other Jo Malone fragrances on paper. And I think that does a huge disservice. Like we always talk about, obviously, try it on your skin, try it on your skin but I never obviously tried all of them on my skin because there was like 20 Jo Malone fragrances and of course I'm not gonna spray all of them on my skin. So you put them on paper and then you smell them and you experience them, but you're really not getting the full sensation of what they actually smell like until they go on your skin. It was after I put the Peony and Blush Suede on my skin, you guys. That was when I realized I really, really liked this fragrance. On paper, it was coming across a lot more fresh and sort of like a, almost like a bland floral, just a very bland, like unimpressive floral. Once I got this on my skin, that beautiful soft sort of suede started coming out and it made it smell very elegant and sophisticated and um, very expensive. Once it got on my skin, it completely transformed and that was when I realized 
why everyone liked this so much and I started to understand what the hype was with the peony and blush suede. So the notes that you have in here are red apple, peony, rose, jasmine, carnation, and suede. Even at the atomizer right now, you guys, it does smell very fresh, floral, a touch fruity. I don't get a whole lot of that leather at the bottle. Once I put this on my skin, I do get that beautiful, soft, subtle suede that's underneath. And that to me is what makes this so special and so beautiful. And to me, this is very bridal. It's very elegant. It's very classy, very feminine, very effortless. It's just like an effortless, beautiful scent. And my only beef is I do wish that it would last a little bit longer. Like I said, this and the Woods Sage and Sea Salt both probably give me three to four hours on my skin. I do have it on my arm still. And it's there, but it's quite subtle. It's very, very subtle. I really have to try to smell it and it's definitely not going to be projecting. But for the summertime and for those hot days when you just wanna smell fresh and beautiful, this would be a great one to just throw on. And like I said, these little baby miniatures would be great to have in your purse. You could also decant your favorite Jo Malone perfume and keep it with you in your handbag. I think that would be a really good idea. But I just think these bottles are so darling. They, they look adorable sitting on a vanity. And I think they're just really nice. I really like the Jo Malone bottles. So like I said, I do have a full one coming of this and I cannot wait to get it. I just think it's so stunning. I think it's so beautiful. And I wish I would have discovered sooner how nice this is um, because this is a very, very popular fragrance. So yeah, Peony and Blush Suede. So you guys, those are all of the products that I recently got from Sephora. I did get a few other items that ended up not staying, but yeah, they're not here anymore so I can't talk about them. But these are the items that I really, really like. Um, and I definitely recommend checking them out if you're in the market for any of these types of items. So just one more time really quickly, we have the Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation, which I really, really like. We have the Hourglass Veil Primer, which I have not had a chance to try it on my skin, but I'm super excited. We have one of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blushes. We have the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. We have the Nest Madagascar Vanilla Perfume Oil, which I really, really like and recommend as well. Um, and then we have the two little Jumlin fragrances, so the Woods Agent Sea Salt and the Peony and Blush Suede. And yeah, those are the items that I got from Sephora. Um, I'm sorry tonight if you guys, if I I seem like I can't talk tonight or anything like that. I'm very tired for some reason today, um, but hopefully this was a little bit entertaining for you guys. And let me know down below if you've tried any of these products, what your thoughts are, and if you have any recommendations from any of these lines, I would love to hear what your thoughts are. So that was it for today's little Sephora haul, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said before, if you haven't already, please comment down below. Let me know what Jo Malone fragrance you think I should try. What is your favorite Jo Malone? And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in my next video. Bye for now. Bye.